Welcome to Star Stable today, you guys. We're here at Marley's Farm. That was a very exciting intro. <laughs> it is the Spring Festival. I'm on Dragon Rain, who I realize does not quite have gear of his own. I'd put him in some purple and green gear, but he only has like the saddle pad. I don't know. I stuck him in the Moreland gear. I was hoping we'll get some tack from the events of today, something spring, springy, you know, uh, summer's coming up too, so maybe we'll get some summer festival stuff, but something, there's something to do with potatoes. Um, I don't even know. I don't know what to think, what the quest is going to be. I don't remember doing a potato quest last year. I could, I could very well be wrong, <laughs> but I don't quite remember. I'm realizing now maybe picking my largest horse was not the best idea because it's going to be crowded. Um, so we'll leave him over there. What's going on, Marley? Chili spuds. I'd just like to note how beautiful this horse over here looks in this gear. Howdy, kittens. You're here to take part in the traditional potato planting just like everyone else, right? It's more and more popular every year. Whoa there, cowboy. You don't know what I'm talking about. The potato planting tradition is something we do to celebrate that the frost is finally gone from the ground and that the warmer times are on their way. Now we can finally grow things in the ground again. We celebrate by digging up the potatoes from the potato patch that have managed to survive the winter. I don't know how they make it through, but there's something special about the earth here in Jorvik. There's something special about Jorvik in general. Sometimes it makes the potatoes super big and able to withstand the cold. Those spuds that make it through the winter are incredibly delicious and are something of a delicacy around these parts. Oh, what's her name? His sister could sell him in the restaurant over there. What is her name? I can't remember. Her and Carl Franz. <laughs> After that, we plant new potatoes in a riding competition where the most daring local riders compete. If I know you, it sounds like something you'd like to have a go at. Oh, he knows us. But for now, ride out to the potato patch and dig a huge, dig up a huge potato. Then I'll teach you how to make the best baked potato. Giddy up, Cadence. I'm actually not a fan of potatoes. I like sweet potatoes. Sweet potato fries. Well, not a big fan of regular potatoes, though. But we will go dig one up anyway. And you can sell it to somebody else. Sounds like a plan. Whoops. Not a good jumper, that dragon rain. Uh, I wonder if we're gonna have to get down. Nope! I like that. I can stay on the horse. Ooh, rotten potatoes. Ooh. Jump. Ooh, we did it. Conditions fulfilled. Alright, let's try this again. Ready? <gasps> <laughs> Maybe it's not the horse, it's the rider. All right, you wait here, buddy. Chili spuds. Wow, Cadence, look at the size of that potato. What a find. This potato is going to be perfect. Now let's see, this potato needs to be baked. But we need other ingredients if it's going to be a perfect baked potato. All we're missing now is some silver glade sage and some traditionally churned butter. Make a start by grabbing me a bunch of silver glade sage. You'll find it around the birch tree by the stable. Alright. The birch tree. It must be this tree right here. Yep. These are some fine looking herbs. Thanks. Now we just need some butter and then we can make the perfect old country style baked potato. You can fetch the butter, you say? Great. Right up to Derek in, in the Silver Glade post office. He should have a nice pack of newly churned butter for me. Ooh. Newly churned butter. Derek, post office. Why did I struggle with that? <laughs> I found him. It's okay. Hey, Cadence, are you here to send something or to pick something up? Welcome back. How have you been? Absolutely, I've got a package for Marley. Here you go. Say hey to him for me. Thanks, Derek. He's such a friendly mailman. <laughs> Marley. Oh, this is perfect, Cadence. This butter is the best you can get. So, you reckon you're ready to prepare a perfect potato? My family has had this traditional recipe for generations, and now it's your turn to learn how to do it. 
You think it's going to be easy, you say. Hmm, looks easier than it actually is, Cadence. Be sure to fo follow my instructions carefully. And we'll have a spud so tasty you'll be saying, Thank you, baked potato. <laughs> Will I? All right. <laughs> sure. All right, follow his instructions. I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. Me and Madison Dawn Forrest, we're ready. I like her top. It's a very springy top. <gasps> Turn the oven on. Got it. Pick up the potato. Uh, you harvested from the... Where is it? Do I have it? Where is it, Marley? Messed up. I don't know where it is. We can do this. I just didn't know where my potato is. I'm sorry. We gotta turn on the oven. Pick up the potato you harvested from the potato patch. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> Finally. Put the potato in the oven. All right, we got it. Grab the herbs. Mix the herbs and the butter. Where's the butter? Oh, over here, okay. Take the baked potato out of the oven. Careful, it's hot. Spread herbs, heaps of the herb butter on the potato. Oh, we did it, awesome, awesome, awesome. Woohoo, Cadence, this smells incredibly good. I don't want to be a potato watcher. I want to be a potato eater. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I want to be a potato eater. Let me try your baked potato. Om nom 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 nom. Chomp, chomp, chomp. Yeehaw. <laughs> that was one of the best baked potatoes I've ever eaten. That sure brings back memories from when I was just a boy. My old grandma used to make potatoes just like this with me when I was knee high to a grasshopper. Well, the flavor is exactly the same. These are some good old memories. All right, Cadence. Now you've learned how to take care of the potatoes that made it through the winter. All we've got left is the final step in our traditional potato celebrations. Time to plant the new potatoes. Ride over to Elvi, Elvi, and she'll go through it all with you. You like your riding to be a little wild and crazy, huh? We've fancied up some regular potato planting so that it can be a little more exciting. Be sure to grab the potatoes that are right here next to me before you ride off. Good luck. Okay, I'm pretty excited. I don't know what's gonna happen, but wild times, wild times. Oh, over here. So they're not right next to you, but sure. Oh, there they are on my horse. Who's LV? I don't even know. Anyway, I need to get a picture of myself with the potatoes. Let's go stand over here and face the wall so we can situate the camera. Just like so. Oh, I like it. I wish I could get everybody in the picture. Do you ever try and take pictures and the horse is just not cooperating at all? Morgans are especially difficult. I imagine American Quarter Horses are too, or they're just constantly moving. It's so hard to get a picture of them. Look at all those potatoes. Okay, so now I need to find someone named Evie? Is that what he said? Evie? Evie? I don't know who that is. Ooh, that was a bad jump. Bad jump. I'm gonna follow the green. Somewhere over yonder. It's a little lady I don't know. Hello! Oh, Elvie. Elvie. Hello. Don't be shy, come take part in the festivities. You're here for the annual potato planting race. Yes, yes I am. <laughs> hey there, stranger, my name's Elvie, and I guess I do a little bit of everything here at Marley's farm. I make sure the horses are feeling looked after and that the yard is always clean and tidy. You've been to see Marley, you say, good, then you know it's important to us to hold on to our traditions and celebrate the thawing of the frost. We've been waiting all winter for the day to come when we're able to use the soil again. I've, I'm always so delighted every year when it's time for our potato party. Springtime really puts a spring in your step. 
<laughs> We've come up with a race where we plant potatoes in the ground to celebrate the frost disappearing. I understand you want to compete against the others, but we'll have a little test run first. That's good. <laughs> so that you definitely know what's what. The race is basically a run out onto the potato patch where you have to plant as many potatoes as you can on all of the indicated spots. Then you just hurry back to me here by the finish line and the first one to do so is the winner. There's a whole heap of prestige to be won by being crowned the winner of this race. Saddle up, ride like the wind, and earn a hat. Oh, I can't wear it! Oh, oh it's in Swedish. Det är klart att du måste ha den. Alright. We're ready. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no. Um. Do we just, okay, I think we just run over. Am I going the right way? Am I supposed to be clicking something? I don't even know. Oh, okay, I think just running over the spot is enough. Oh no, we missed one. Keep moving forward. Oh no. Um. All right then. We missed one. Go back that way. We missed two. Oh, one more. One more. This is pretty fun. <laughs> oh my gosh. Head on back. Head on back. We got this. We got this. Whew. That was pretty fun. I like this. Woohoo! Nice riding! You're going to be a tough competitor for the other riders to beat. Go up to the notice board here by me and sign yourself and your friends up for a race. Good luck, Cadence. I've got faith in you. Oh, let's check out this Swedish hat. It does have a potato on it, but we can't wear it. Oh, I'm so jealous. Sorry, I still have my denim hat from James. Thanks, LV. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> Back at Veildale Lake, I believe it is fishing time with Mr. Anderson. Here it is, my old fishing rod. It has been through a lot, you should know. Once upon a time, I was a great fisherman in Fort Pinta. Oh, yes. But what were we talking about? Yes, new fish. Unfortunately, I don't know where our Veildale fish used to be, except from here, so I suggest that you go for a fishing trip. But I do know that the worms from the mountain pass only taste good for the Veildale fish. Don't ask me why, but I can guarantee that when the fish bite, it will be Veildale fish. I have marked some places on the map where you should be able to find some fish. Good luck. Let's check it out. Ooh, okay, down through the hollow woods and the Silver Song River. Cool. Excellent. So I started at Veildale Village and worked my way down to our first fishing spot. There's the fish. Hey, little guy, you're coming with me. <laughs> okay, so we need to get four. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, oh, tough guy. Survive the fall. I like it, Dragon Rain. <laughs> I like it. We're at spot number two, and there was almost a catastrophe. Last spot. This will be our fourth fish. And then we can return to Mr. Anderson. Or we can do what I do and call for pickup and hop in the trailer. <laughs> we have your fish, Mr. Anderson. It was a good time doing some fishing. Excellent, Cadence. You seem to have a natural talent for fishing. Thank you. Dig this bucket with fish and release them into the lake. We hope they will like it. Yeah, I hope they do too. <laughs> Where are we doing that? Over here? Yes. Swim free, little fishes. Swim free. Ah, oh, they're jumping. Now, hopefully, they will make it clear again. Put put nature back in balance. <laughs> it won't be green anymore. Well done. Now we have to wait and see. Keep your fingers crossed. we Will do. Here in Fergrove, Andy needs us to check on his sheep. Chickens. <laughs> chickens. <laughs> I think something is wrong with the chickens, Cadence. They are scared to go out of their new house. Yesterday evening, they... They seemed happy and were out enjoying themselves, but this morning they haven't been outside the house at all. Something must have happened during the night. Can you see if you could find any clues? Uh-oh. I hope there's no predators sniffing around. <laughs> We've made the chickens easier for the wolves to find. Uh-oh. I 
I think that was some fur, Andy. Maybe you should put up another fence. Oh no, a piece of fur. Could it be from a wolf? Yes, it is. This is not good. And you found tracks? Where do they go? Into the forest? Well, we can be sure the wolf has been here. I have a plan, Cadence. We have to lure the wolf away from the chickens. I think it can work if we put out some wolf food in the forest. The wolves will have something to eat, and we don't need to come here. And they won't need to come here. My grandma has cooked a steak. I think she might have some bones and leftovers from the dinner. Ride and ask her if she can give you some. I don't know how I feel about this, feeding the wolves. That might encourage them to come around even more. I mean, it, it will keep them from eating the chickens, I guess. But they're gonna come around all the time looking for meat. Hey, Grandma, we need some leftovers. Cadence, my dear friend, what are you saying? Those darn wolves, they always cause trouble. They need to eat, but not our fine animals. Actually, I have some bones from the steak I cooked. You could take them and ride far away into the forest and put them there. I hope the wolf won't frighten our chickens anymore. If we put the bones far enough away, the wolves might not come back. All right, fair enough. We'll give it a try. I'm on my way away from the chicken coop now to place out some meat, hopefully far enough away. I don't want to go into the woods if there are wolves over here. <laughs> oh, there's a spot. One more piece of meat for the wolves. Right here. Excellent. Hopefully that will lure them away, Andy. I hope it works. Did she have leftovers? Cool. Now we have to hope it will work. <laughs> I hope it does. But to be on the safe side, we need to have some lights around the chicken coop. I think it will work well if we had some torches outside the chicken coop. That way I can keep an eye on it when I watch over my sheep. I put up some torches while you were away. Here are some matches right over and light the torches and we can hope that the chickens actually come out. All right. He put up the torches and we have the dangerous job of lighting them. Got it. This fence isn't looking too good either. I wonder if we should help him fix that fence. How did the sheep not run away? Oh, that was it? Two? Just two. Okay. This should do it. It's been a long day. I think that both of us and the chickens might need some rest now. <laughs> long day. Sure. Yeah, we did do a lot with potatoes today. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll have another video up soon. I have some more quests to do wrapping up with Tan and Moreland. And a new one unlocked, the horse market ones, with Elizabeth and Baledale that has to do with the waterfall. So that's going to be exciting. I know a few of you mentioned that in the comments. They're looking forward to that quest line. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And I hope you guys all liked the potato quest. I thought it was so entertaining. <laughs> it's really funny and I love Marley regardless. So I'll be looking at some new gear soon too for uh, Dragon Rain here. He needs something springy to go with this flower. Don't know where this flower came from. I don't remember. But <laughs> he looks super cute. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.